your show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. All stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah. Wow! Hooray! The secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. <laughs> Got it. Uh, nice catch, Tessa. Zebras like to run through the jungle grass. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Dinosaurs like it too. Stomp, stomp, stomp. There are no dinosaurs in the jungle, Eddie. There are in this jungle. Stomp, 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 stomp. Would your dinosaur like to smell my flowers? Sure. Ah, <sighs> dinosaurs love flowers. Eddie, cover your mouth, please. Sorry. I, I, chew. Eddie, you should cover your mouth when you sneeze. You could spread germs. I think you need a tissue. Thanks. So, 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 so. Use the tissue. Sorry. Why are you sneezing so much? I have owl germies that make me sneeze sometimes. I think you mean allergies? What's that? Scientific fact. Some allergies make you sneeze in the springtime. Yep, I have those. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. It's good manners to use a tissue, Eddie. Please try to remember. Come on, Sophie. Throw the frisbee. Play too. Me too. What's so good about good manners anyway? I bet dinosaurs don't have to remember their m <laughs> See? You don't care that I didn't use a tissue. I bet none of the animals in the jungle would care. I'm gonna go to the jungle where I can sneeze all day and no one will tell me to cover my mouth. Huh. Good guess. Play. We're going on an adventure today. Chill. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Woo choo! <clears throat> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, who did that? Was that you, Mr. Parrot? <laughs> it was you. Cool. My turn. <laughs> Whoa! That was really loud. The Duke is always really loud. The Duke? Duke Trunks here, at your service. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Duke. What's your name? I'm Eddie. I'm Eddie. Oh, I like that name. Uh, no, that's not my name. No! Woohoo! That was a good one, I'm Eddie. Oh, wasn't that a good one, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. No need for that. I never cover my mouth when I sneeze. I have the loudest sneeze in the land, and I want to be sure everyone can hear it. <laughs> I can tell we have a lot in common, I'm Eddie. Would you like to have lunch with me? I'd... Of course you would. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Let's go! Uh, thank you. 
There's my table. I have lunch here every day. A table always becomes available the moment I walk in. <laughs> uh, always? Always! <laughs> hmm. I'll take, uh... Mm, one of everything! <laughs> Don't forget to say please... Pronto! Right! Uh, please. Oh, time to eat! Time to eat! <laughs> the Duke can be a bit hard to eat with. Time to eat! 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 <laughs> His manners are a little... Uh, well... <laughs> he has no manners. Excuse me, Duke. Maybe you should speak a little more quietly. We don't want to bother the other customers. Oh! <laughs> You're funny, I Meddy. Come on, join in. Time to eat. Time to eat. Time to eat. Time to eat. <laughs> You're going to need this. Uh, thank you. Nom, nom. <laughs> um, excuse me, but could you maybe please chew <laughs> with your mouth closed? <laughs> Shouldn't you say excuse me? Now, why would I say a thing like that? Because, well, I think you're being rude. Uh, rude? Yes. I thought it would be cool to forget about manners for a while, but it's not. Uh, what do you mean, Mr. Imedi? My name is Eddie, and I mean that it's not cool to have no manners. Manners? Uh... Having good manners means thinking of others and being polite. Oh, that's completely... You don't think I... Wait, what? Really? Well, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. No one has ever told me why I need to have good manners before. No one? No! So you see, I didn't know that I was being rude and making others feel uncomfortable. I apologize, everyone. Uh, I'm truly sorry. Can you forgive me? Of course we forgive you, Duke. Oh, good. And from now on, I would like you to tell me when my manners are slipping. Please. <laughs> they could be so easy to forget. You're right. Sometimes when I'm with my friends, I forget my manners, too. Excuse me. I'm gonna go apologize right now. No, wait! Please don't go yet, Eddie. I need help remembering my manners. Well, okay. I guess we both could use a little help. Saying thanks, saying please, cover your nose when you sneeze. Don't be rude and make a splatter. Manners matter. Close your mouth when you chew. This is the polite thing to do. A mouth that's full should not chatter. Manners matter. Manners matter. Take a look at yourself and say, Would I like a friend to act this way? If what you answer is no, then it's not the way to go. Listen up, wait your turn. Don't interrupt, it's easy to learn. And if you burp, say, excuse me. It can happen, as you can see. No one's perfect, so just remember. Manners matter. Manners matter. <laughs> Why, thanks.
Thank you. Oh, allow me to serve. <laughs> Everyone, have a slice. Oh, have a slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Can't wait. Woohoo! Hey, guys, just in time. There you are, Eddie. Oh, careful. The flowers might make you sneeze. Don't worry. If they do, I'll cover my mouth with this. And I'm sorry I didn't do it before. 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 <laughs> Oof. Excuse me. Now I know that manners matter for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Even lucky. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Excuse you. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. You look perfect. And so do you. And, ooh, you look thirsty. Tessa, hurry! Coming through. Thirsty flowers. Careful, Tessa. Maybe you should... <laughs> Tessa, look out! You're gonna... <gasps> oh! <gasps> Our cars are all muddy. Sorry. Didn't you hear me, Tessa? I yelled, look out! I don't think she did. You should yell louder, Kobe. Like me! <laughs> I don't think anyone can yell that loud, Eddie. I'll help. Thanks, Kobe. You're like a giant car wash for little cars. I am a car wash. Clink, clink, bleep, bloop, splish, splash. <laughs> <laughs> car washes are cool. Hey, we should go on a car wash adventure and wash some big cars. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Woohoo! Okay, just let me finish this. Hurry up, Kobe. Car wash adventure. Hey, hey wait for me. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. special today. Three cups of soap to make your van sparkle. Plus, a squirt of new car smell air freshener. Oh, fragrant joy. We call it the Super Soapy Sudsy Special. Oh, my yes. We'll take it. One, two, three. And one more for that extra special shine. I think that's too much soap, don't you? And up we go! Cool scrub brushes. Let's turn them up and get this car really clean. Tessa, I don't think you should... I don't think that's how it was supposed to work. See ya. Welcome to the car wash. You look like you need the super-duper tuxedo treatment today. Uh, no, thank you. We'll have the royal treatment, please. <gasps> 
for his royal highness, King Mouse. Greetings, loyal subjects. Hello. How do you do? I would like my car to be the cleanest in the kingdom. Don't worry, your highness. We'll use five whole cups of soap. No, Sophie. Five cups are way too many. Only five? Make it six. I want the really royal treatment. Then you get two squirts of new car smell. Mmm, delicious. I'll take three. Mmm. This way, Your Majesty. Is there a top for the king's car? It's always open, so he can wave to his subjects. Hello! <laughs> Hello. Going up! Wait! That car can't go through the car wash. It has no roof. Hello! One really royal car wash coming right up. Right this way, Your Majesty. Guys, listen! The car wash... <gasps> Hobie's right! We need to listen to the car wash. Let's turn it up. <laughs> now that's the sound of clean. That's not what I meant. Why won't anyone listen to me? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound like the sound of clean. More like the sound of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Your Majesty? Is everyone all right? <laughs> now that was a really royal treatment. Wonderful car wash. But, Your Highness, your car is even dirtier than before. Huh? Oh, my. This is not a wonderful car wash after all. We must leave and find another one at once. They're stuck! We have to get them unstuck. And clean their car the right way. And make them smell good again. Okay, then. Let's do it. Let's go! Uh, I wish they would have listened to me. Oh, dear. Come on, guys. Let's do it. This ought to work. Oh. I got this. Well, this is good. Let's use this. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs> I've got the loops. How about some rope? Here, try this ladder. Great idea. Stop. May I please talk now? I think I know how we can fix this. Great. Tell, Tell us, Toby. Come on. Shh. I need you to really listen, okay? We always listen. But we didn't. Colby tried to tell you not to turn the car wash up so high. And not to put in so much soap. And not to let the car go in when it had no top. Hmm. That's right. You did try to tell us those things, Colby. We just got so excited about running the car wash that we forgot to listen. We're sorry. Yeah. We're ready to listen now. Thank you. So what do we do? Don't ask him. Ask me. I'm the king. I know everything. I'll get us out. Hand me that tool thingy. <coughs> you were saying. Thank you. When something happens that bothers you And you're not sure of what to do Listen to everyone, make a choice You might just choose the quiet voice So try to listen and learn Some folks are loud Some even shout And some are quiet like me So listen and learn from all your friends You'll learn a lot, you'll see Good job, everyone! I love this! <laughs> 
our mass and reminding us to listen. So, what should we play now? Let's take a spaceship to the moon. I want to play princess. We should all be dinosaurs. Roar! I want to play tag. Go to the moon. The moon. Um, excuse me. I have an idea. Oops. We're, We're listening. listening. Why don't you guys pretend that you're dinosaurs who took a rocket to the moon where Moon Princess Mia asked you to come and play Moon Tag with her. Yeah! yeah. Great idea. What about you, Kobe? Are you a dinosaur too? Nope. I'm it, so you better run. I'm coming for you. <laughs> It's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah. Wow. Hooray. The secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. Together. <laughs> teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the Jumpin' Jack shoots! He scores! This book has some awesome animals in it, Eddie. Look at this one they discovered in the jungle. He looks part zebra and part giraffe. He's called an okapi. He should be called a... Uh, a zebra! <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to discover a new animal, like this one. An olinguito. Whoa! Sorry. I was aiming for the bucket. It's okay. Try again, Jack. Jumpin' Jack will now attempt to make the winning basket. He takes careful aim and... Ooh, so close. Oh, well. You can look at my book with us instead, Jack. Yeah. There's pictures of all these cool animals they discovered in the jungle. I wish I could discover how to get my ball down. Hmm. <gasps> we'll help you. We can use this ball to knock that one down. Kobe rolls the ball. And he kicks it. And hits the bridge and... The winning basket is made! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Can do anything! Maybe even make a big discovery, like a new jungle animal, like in my book. Sure, even that. Yeah, let's go to the jungle and see what we can find. Okay, let's do it. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone. Situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Let's go! Woohoo! Awesome! I'm in the jungle with super smart animal expert Kobe. 
and super brave jungle explorer, Eddie. We're here to see what kind of new animals we can discover. What are you doing, Jack? I'm going to record all the stuff we do today. Then we can watch it later. Great. Cool. Hey, look. Awesome. I'll drive. Let's go. <laughs> the eating habits of these two amazing creatures are especially interesting to watch. Bologna and mm. jelly, my favorite. Mm. Come and have a sandwich with us, Jack. Okay. Bologna and jelly. So tasty. <gasps> Guys, look! Mm. Wow! Huh? It's kind of like a hippopotamus and kind of like a leopard. It's, um, uh, uh, a lepopotamus. Huh? I've never heard of that. That's because we just discovered it. Wow! We did it, Kobe. Together we discovered a new jungle animal. So what do we do now? Well, scientists are supposed to learn everything they can about a new creature. We'll help you do that. But what if he goes deep into the jungle? No problem. I'm a great explorer. There's no place I can't go. And I'll help you get the first pictures of a genuine lepopotamus. Hey, where'd he go? Animal expert Kobe has found some lepopotamus tracks. These prints look kind of leopardy. And hippos like to nibble on bushes. I think I hear it. Over there. so I could get his whole body. Yeah. Any ideas how to do that, animal expert, Kobe? Hmm. Uh, hippos love melons. He might come out for that. Perfect. There's a melon tree right over there. Brave explorer Eddie will swing across the pond to get the melon. <laughs> Brilliant. Now animal expert Kobe and I will follow. Yes! Come on! Um, I don't know if I can. Sure you can, Kobe. We're here to help you. Well, okay, I'll try. Uh, uh, oh. Gotcha! I did it! Yes! Animal expert Kobe has bravely made it to the other side of the pond. Now together, Kobe and Eddie will use melons to try to get the lepopotamus out of the water. Here, lepopotamus, come and get it. Huh? huh? Oh no, our great discovery has disappeared again. Tracks tell us he came this way! There he is! The Lepopotamus! <gasps> Here he is! Come and record this, Jack! Wow! No, Jack! He's up here! Truly amazing! We found not one, but two Lepopotamuses! Huh? It's just a leper. And that's a plain old hippo. So I guess there is no such thing as a lepopotamus after all. We just found two animals who like to play together. 
But we saw it, and Jack recorded it. Yeah, let's look back and see. Here's when we first got here. Hey, there they both are. And look, now it looks like they're one animal, but they're not. Look at this, the hippo's in the water, the leopard's on the shore. Sorry, Kobe. I guess we didn't help you make a big discovery after all. Yeah, but thanks for trying, guys. Wait, we did make a big discovery. Watch. Kobe, you discovered that you can swing across a pond. And Eddie discovered he knew more about animals than he thought. And I discovered that discovering things is fun. So we all helped each other discover something new. Yeah, cool. So we didn't find the creature called the Lepopotamus. But we discovered lots of stuff, and that's a great big plus. I know more things than I thought. I like to swing an awful lot. I recorded every shot. discovered a new kind of animal, a lepopotamus. Oh, I want to help almost discover a new animal too. Can I, please? Okay, sure. But first, let's all go help each other discover some snacks. Okay, then discover some animals. Snack time! <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I wonder if there's a chocolate cookie. Yummy. <laughs> Sleepy time, there you go. I'm digging for treasure. Want to help? Shh. You'll wake up the baby. Oh, sorry. Hmm. That's not going to work. Oh, well. <gasps> hey, I found something. Whoa. A compass. Cool. Scientific fact. A compass can help you when you get lost. Shh. The baby is trying to sleep. Oops, uh, sorry. Look behind you, Eddie. I think it's a map. Huh? Cool! Oh, that was just a treasure map I was trying to draw. A treasure map? Uh-huh. But then I remembered, there's no treasure buried in the backyard. There's none in the yard, but there's always treasure buried on a desert island. That's right. Maybe your map would work there, Tessa. There's only one way to find out. An island adventure! Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! Quiet! Uh, sorry, sorry. Mia, do you want to go to the desert island with us to look for buried treasure? No, thanks. My baby needs me here more than you need me there. Okay, see you later, Mia. Bye-bye. Later. Bye -bye. some fun use our imagination you can be anyone in any situation let's go on an adventure exploring someplace new go near and far together there's so much we can do so hey hey come out and play we're going on an adventure today we're gonna have so much fun use our imagination you can be Situation. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. Let's go! All right, yeah! Sing a dig a do! Woohoo! Okay, guys, let's find some buried treasure. We need to find a big X 
That's where the treasure's buried. That's always where the treasure's buried. But how do we find the X? Uh, can I look at the map, Eddie? Sure. Uh-oh, I think I dropped my compass. I'll be right back. Hmm, I must have dropped it around here. Hey! Oh, yep, here it is. Huh, what's that? An egg? Cool! Come on, Addy! Let's find the treasure! Be right there! What? Whoa! A baby turtle! I didn't know turtles came from eggs. Hello there. You are so cute. Are you alone? Where are your friends? Or your family? Aw. Eddie, hurry up! Coming! Gotta go, little guy. I have a treasure to find. I think the map is telling us to go into these trees. What kind of treasure do you think we'll find? I hope it's gold or jewels. I hope it's chocolate. I hope that little turtle's okay. Eddie, this treasure hunt is your best idea ever! Yeah. Zinga digga do! Huh? Oh, yeah, thanks. You okay, Eddie? Yeah, but I left something back on the beach. You guys go ahead, I'll catch up. Uh, okay. Phew! You're okay. But you're still alone, huh? I sure wish you had some friends to keep you company. Well, don't worry. I'll help you find someone. Then, it's back to the treasure hunt. I think... I think we're supposed to march over the coconut... <laughs> the coconuts. Maybe the map is upside down, Kobe? Or sideways? I don't know, but I bet Eddie's compass can show us the right direction. Hey, where is Eddie? He said he'd catch up. Eddie! We're waiting for you. Bring your compass. Uh-oh. My friends need me to help with the treasure hunt. I'll go help them and then come back. You stay here, okay? <laughs> no, you stay here. Stay. Stay. Huh? Where are you, little guy? Oh, no. How'd you get in there? Let me help you, little guy. the treasure without Eddie and his compass. You're right, Sophie. Let's go back and see what's taking him so long. Good plan. You can't come with me, but you won't let me go without you. My friends need my help to finish the treasure hunt, but you need me too. What should I do? What should I do? I think you need me more than my friends do right now. They'll come back here after they find the treasure. So don't worry, I'm staying right here. In the meantime, we can, um... Uh... What do baby turtles like to do? I don't know what to do with you. But I think you're gonna help me learn what I should do. You're gonna learn it too. Cause it's fun to be the one who's helping, the one who's helping you. Sometimes it's better when you stay, even if you wanna play. When there's a friend who needs your help, you can 
sit and share some kelp. It's fun to be the one who's helping. It's fun to be. Already? Did you guys find the treasure? <gasps> there it is! Huh? huh? The X! That marks the spot where the treasure is! We're right back where we started! Hey! I think I already found the treasure! It's this baby turtle! Aww! Aww. He's so cute! So, you mean the treasure isn't gold? Or jewels. Or chocolate. No! It's this baby turtle! I named him Eddie Jr. Eddie Jr. looks really happy. Good job taking care of him, Eddie. Thanks. But I wish there were some other turtles around who knew what to do next. Scientific fact. Sea turtles hatch on the beach, then crawl straight to the water. But they usually hatch in big groups. So his friends must have already gone out to sea. So I should help him crawl out to the sea too, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll help you, little guy. Here we go. <laughs> Boy, did I love taking care of you, Eddie Jr. But it's time to say goodbye. Look! More treasure! Wow! Cool! Your friends have been here all along! And now it's time for you all to go. Bye, Eddie Jr. I'm glad you found your friends! the jungle, Sophie. But this polar bear won an all-expense paid vacation here, where it's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Here comes a fire truck! <laughs> Is firefighter Erica there? Can you see her? Yep! And firefighter Rob, too! Cool! I bet they're going to put out a fire or rescue someone. Ooh, I'd love to be a firefighter. Me too. Me too! Why don't all four of us be firefighters? We can be a team. Yeah! A team! Yippee! Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Ha, ha, ha. 
There's our fire truck. <laughs> Where to, Sophie? Hold on, everyone. We're headed for Snow Globia. Let's do it. Now to find someone to rescue. Tessa, look! I think someone found us. Oh dear, oh my, oh goodness, oh! Oh dear, oh my! Excuse me, we're firefighters. Can we help you with something? Yes, you can! Well, maybe you can. I hope you can. Can you? We'll do our best. What's wrong? A friend came to visit me, and now she can't get home. It's too much snow, don't you know? Don't worry. This firefighting team will get your friends home safe and sound. Firefighters to the rescue! Uh, what's wrong, Sophie? I don't know. Stuck in the snow. Come on, team. Let's work together and dig this truck out. Okay. Oh dear. Oh my. My friend will never get home now. This is tragic. Terrible. Awful. Don't worry. We'll get her home. It just might take a little while. Hmm. Or maybe not. I have an idea. I don't think a fire hose can dig us out of the snow. I think Sophie has a different idea. Whoa. <sighs> Mia, can you turn on the automatic hose winder, please? Okie dokie. Oh, yay! I never would have thought of that, Sophie. <laughs> that was brilliant! Now let's go rescue my friend! Firefighters to the rescue! Oh, 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 my friend! There she is! A giraffe in the snow. They won an all-expense-paid vacation here and couldn't resist. They? She and her baby daughter. <laughs> Woo! Come on, team. Let's help the baby get off the ice. Don't worry. We firefighters will get you both home safe and sound. Whee! Whoa! going to be a little harder than we thought. Why don't we try using the rescue bucket? Great idea, Tessa. It's not moving. <gasps> There's ice all around it. It's frozen. Come on. Maybe if we work together, we can lift her out. But first, we need to get her to the side of the pond. <sighs> Oh, oh. oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's too big. We can't lift her. We have to keep trying. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. Mia and Emma, come with me. Don't worry, little giraffe. We'll rescue you somehow. <laughs> <laughs> A baby giraffe can't climb a ladder, Sophie. You're right, Emma. Turn on the water, please, Mia. Okay. Water? What's that for? The water froze and 
into an ice ramp. Maybe the little giraffe can climb up it. I think Sophie has a different idea. Tessa, can you skate the baby up to the ramp? I'll try. Huh. Oh, I do hope this works! We Mama. Oh, brilliant! Genius idea! And such teamwork! You have really good ideas, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these drafts home. Oh, goodness. That ice ramp certainly does look like a lot of fun. <laughs> well, oh, maybe just one quick slide. <laughs> oh! Oh my! Could I get a little help here, please? What's wrong? Can't you just fly down? I'm afraid we penguins don't fly. This definitely calls for a firefighter rescue. But our rescue bucket is frozen to the truck. And our rescue ladder is frozen to the pond. We need a different idea, Sophie. Maybe today penguins can fly. Huh? Are you ready to fly, penguin? Oh my, this does sound exciting. Yes, I'm ready! One can see the problem, two can talk it through. Three can work together, four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yeah, it's just more fun! One, two, three, four! One friend can be helpful. Two can help much more. It's better when there's three, and even better when there's four. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. Get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Woohoo! That was brilliant! Great job! <laughs> I did it! The firefighting team made me fly! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That was a different and very cool way to rescue a penguin, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these drafts back home. Yay, team! We did it! Go firefighters! <laughs> <laughs> We make a great rescue team, guys. Yeah, woohoo! Your ideas were so helpful, Sophie. Yeah, they were really different. Sophie, come look. Okay. Ta-da! Whoa! Awesome! Cool. Your polar bear on vacation took her jungle friends on an ice-filled adventure. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> and he throws the ball. And Eddie hits it. Huh. Yeah! Oh, he's running. He's running. And he slides. Huh? Whoa! Careful, Eddie. I'm dancing here. Oops. Sorry. Speak. Roll over. Ugh. Tessa, can you stay over there, please? Sorry, but I need space for my dancing. My baseball game needs lots of space, too. And my animals need lots and lots of space. I'm going to have a zillion animals in my very own castle when I grow up. I'm going to play any way I want to in my grown-up space. I'm going to sing and dance in my space anytime, all the time. Hey, why wait? We can go on an adventure and have our own grown-up spaces right now! An, an adventure. adventure! Great, come on, let's go! Yeah! Hooray! Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. 
situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. But it is pretty cool. Hello! I'm Perry Peacock. I help people find the perfect space to live in. And this is the friendliest space in town. Are animals allowed? Is there lots of room to play? Are the ceilings high? I jump really high when I dance. Yes, yes, and yes. In fact, we have only one rule here. Be friendly to each other. Ooh! When can we move in? Right now! Yes! Cool! Let's go! Enjoy! And remember, be friendly! Cool! I can't wait to play wall to wall, any ball all over this place! Even a hundred! <laughs> ah! Steady Eddie is ready to play! <laughs> okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three! Yeah, yeah, boogie to the beat! Tessa style! Hi there. Welcome home, everybody. Say something. Oh! Oh, he's shaking the whole building. Everything 
fall off my walls. And Mia, your parents are ruining my concert. Uh, your loud singing made me miss, Tessa? And your dog took my ball, Mia. Well, how am I supposed to train the animals with you guys making all that noise and shaking the building? Hello? I'm not the problem. Uh, this isn't excuse my fault. Excuse me! Well, don't blame me. Excuse... Oh, <laughs> hello there. The neighbors have been hearing a lot of noise coming from this building today. Uh, are you being friendly? They started it. Not me. Well, I have to practice. Hey, guys! I'm not the problem. Um, excuse me. We're not listening. Mia's right. We haven't been listening to each other at all. No, I guess not. So let's talk. One at a time, okay? Eddie? Okay, so I want to play games in my place. And I want to sing and dance in my place. And I want lots of animals in my place. But your animals are messing up my games. And I can't sing because of your loud games. And your singing keeps bothering the animals. Hmm. Maybe having our own space doesn't mean we can do anything we want any time we want. Maybe we have to listen to each other, too. And be friendly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... I guess I could only sing and dance in the morning. I could keep less animals inside. Maybe just a cat. And a dog. And a bird. Oh, and of course my goldfish. I'll take the others to the jungle where they'll have lots more room to play. I could play my outdoor sports outside and only play indoor sports inside. Yes, excellent. Now you're following our one and only rule, being friendly to each other. Thank you. Goodbye. <coughs> When it's time to play, talk to yourself and say, If I do this, will my neighbors feel okay? Everyone wants to have fun, but when it's all said and done, remember you are not the only one. When you think of what is The things you do affect others too You don't have to put fun on the shelf Just respect the people around you Don't only think of yourself The things you do affect others too You don't have to put fun on the shelf Just respect the people around you Now I see that we all need our own space sometimes. And sometimes we can share. Let's do that sharing thing now. Great! How about a game of kickball? <laughs> Over here! <laughs> oh. Time out! Sophie and Kobe are playing here. Right. Our noise might bother them. And the ball might hit their sandcastle. Oh, and look, he's trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play on the other side of the yard. It's the friendly thing to do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we may be little, but our show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can 